welcome to another episode of Wake Up London. Today I'm waking up in Earlsfield. Now whilst it's not as well known as the neighbouring areas of Clapham, Tooting and Ballam, it's very popular with young families and city commuters as it's just 12 minutes from Waterloo by train. It feels like a typical London suburb with a high street of its own full of shops, pubs, bars and restaurants. Apparently Louis de Bernier lived in Earlsfield whilst writing Captain Corelli's Mandolin and I can imagine him sitting down by the Wandle or in one of the cafes that we're going to visit today. I'm starting off in bar 366 which is just opposite the station. Now it's great in the evening for a cheeky cocktail as you can see by the menu on the ceiling but they're actually open from 8am with teas, coffees, breakfast, lunch and brunch. The decor is really interesting with everything from the Encyclopedia Britannica to the kitchen sink. I've got my first cup of tea of the day and I'm finding it really hard to resist the treats on the bar behind me. There are 10 independent cafes for me to explore in Earlsfield, so I'd better get started. I've walked along Garrett Lane to my second cafe of the day, Bella Me. They serve a high-end artisan coffee from New Zealand and the staff are so friendly here that today my coffee was brewed with love by Marlena. Their slogan is 100% local, 100% independent and everything is made fresh on the premises. They offer a good range of breakfasts and lunches. Number three, heading south away from the station on Garrett Lane is the Double Bubble Cafe, a traditional British cafe where the portions are very generous and everything is reasonably priced. Number four, Henry's Place, another traditional British cafe with an all-day breakfast or fry-up to fill you up. Number five, Ben's Canteen on the corner of Truant Street. If you're going at the weekend, I recommend you book a table as it does get very busy. I particularly enjoy their freshly made juices. They also fed the volunteers at the River Wandle Cleanup a few weeks ago. Number six, over the road from Ben's Canteen is Bean and Hop. We actually filmed here recently for our Love Local London series and this place is so family friendly I was even given a baby to hold. They have an interesting menu and it's all freshly made. As the name suggests, they pride themselves on their coffee and their beer. They have over 60 beers, most of which are locally sourced from independent breweries. Number seven, I'm now down by Steerforth Street outside La Panella and a traditional Italian cafe that serves pizza, pasta and a whole lot more. Number eight, Desserts Cafe, a family rum business, great for that naughty little treat, but also they do serve savoury food. Number nine, Mel's Vintage Beets, Breakfasts and Burgers. This place is light, modern and spacious and a definite hit with the buggy brigade. Number ten, Refuel, right by the station, so great for grabbing something as you head into the city. So that's the end of my quick tour of places to wake up in Earlsfield. Obviously we can't feature everywhere in the area, but if you know a great spot to wake up in South West London, we'd love to hear from you. So please leave a comment on YouTube or contact us on Twitter. Thank you for watching this episode of Wake Up London. <laughs>